Hollywood mogul Tyler Perry has been the target of numerous celebrities speaking out against him, but Tiffany has most recently made fresh accusations against Tyler Perry. Tiffany has allegedly discussed the off-camera disturbing side of Tyler Perry. It appears that Hades' allegations stem from a phase she went through personally in Hollywood because of Tyler Perry. It's real. I know if the man looks too good to be true, he is. Sheltered beneath the drapes to avoid Tyler Perry's deceit. She spoke about how being in Hollywood had destroyed her spirit and led to her cancellation. Simply put, I'm sick of people making fun of me. Tiffany Haddish and Tyler Perry didn't get along well. You won't believe the way Tyler Perry handled her during the case in which Haddish and Aries Spears were charged with. Misconduct a few years prior, Haddish revealed how it affected her. The lawsuit cost her jobs, and even Tyler Perry, whom she saw as family, rejected her. Tiffany, who is well known for her part in Girls Trip, spoke candidly with TMZ about the fallout after it was alleged that she and Ari Spears had groomed two minor siblings in a A case against her and Spears was filed in Los Angeles Superior Court prior to this Hades has previously handled the child say litigation. But now that they have altered their appearance, you know you feel like you reclaim your and I don't have a job in the midst of all this difficulty. Tyler Perry, together with his. Monique became more outspoken in her criticism of Tyler Perry and his studio during this time, highlighting how he exploits black actors including Tiffany Haddish, after months of evidence that the accusations against her were unfounded. Studios refused to support Tiffany Haddish during this trying time of putting in the effort to save her career. Tiffany eventually had the case against her dropped, but Tyler hasn't helped her since. It's like Tyler has abandoned Tiffany, however, while many would argue that Tyler doesn't just want to work with Tiffany. They may be mistaken because Monique has long since exposed Tyler's trait of treachery, she defended black actors in Hollywood against Tyler Perry, pointing out that he has been discriminating against them and using them for his personal gain. She said that frequently, when a black woman speaks up and speaks out, it goes unheard until she dies, at which point we go on. Return and declare, well, she was correct. Let's turn it into a movie. She went on, see, I can tell you their names. I can tell you their names, Eartha Kitt. I can tell you their names, Hazel Scott. H.R. Fanny Lou, I'm able to tell you their names. Hattie McDaniel, those ladies all made a stand, and all of them. After the litigation, those ladies left this place devastated and in good health, observing the community and asking, why all know I'm right, but why won't anybody say anything? Tiffany had a severe professional setback when she discovered that Hollywood, notably Hollywood mogul Tyler Perry, had blackballed her leaving her bankrupt. Tiffany Hades' career suffered greatly and when it became known that she would be appearing in Girls Trip, a lot of Hollywood fans withdrew their support. The producers received negative feedback and numerous petitions demanding the removal of her character as soon as she entered the industry. She also disclosed that many other Hollywood actors, including Tyler, attempted to exploit her, revealed startling information about her rise to fame, alleging that she had strange interactions with the Church of Scientology and Jada Pinkett. The actress said that in her darkest moments, a Church of Scientology member approached her. This organization is well known for scandals involving celebrities, including Jada Pinkett, and it appeared that Hades had been single at the time. Hades also disclosed that she was homeless at the time. She told reporters at the Television Critics Association press tour, promoting her remake of Kids Say the Darnest Things on a B.C., that she was homeless as hell, and that she needed a roof over her head. She was also in serious need of a job, since she was an orphan, meaning she had no one to take care of her, while attempting to find supplementary jobs at casting agencies. Someone contacted Tiffany Haddish and introduced her to Scientology. Being a homeless woman trying to make ends meet, Tiffany Haddish noted that when she was contacted by Scientology, the notion wasn't as well known as it is now. Despite this, she viewed it as an opportunity. I attended a few classes and they discovered that I was homeless, she adds, unknowing that there were ulterior motives. Then, they said, if you stay here, we'll pay you $150 a month and you'll have a roof over your head and you can help us in Inglewood and the South Central area in Los Angeles. Angeles, since it seems like at that time, 
they may have chosen to accept her as a member as the course of events took an unexpected turn. I suppose they didn't have somebody similar to me in their organization. Tiffany Haddish said that the Church of Scientology gave her a contract and demanded that she sign it. Contract was for a billion years or something, which I found absurd, but I figured it was okay because I needed somewhere to stay. From there, things took an even crazier turn. When Tiffany Haddish saw the arrangements that her alleged Scientology aides were putting out for her, they brought her to what they refer to as the barracks, where people sleep. Was bunk beds, and I said, I don't do bunk beds, so I lost my cool. They ended up ripping up my contract and letting me leave. If you want to see me get angry, tell me I have to sleep in a bunk bed, or else I'm going to cut. According to the church's website, Scientology is a contentious religion that runs celebrity centers and special churches mostly for politicians, sports stars, artists, and anybody else with the ability and vision to make the world a better place. Popular person Jada Pinkett has been in the news due to her involvement with science. For historically linked reasons, it makes sense to... Target reportedly included youngsters in their conversion attempts, but it's not only males who are purportedly on their radar. Target developed celebrities for recruiting purposes. The outspoken American comedian and actress Cat Williams also made fun of Tiffany Haddish. When Cat Williams revealed some shocking details about Tiffany Haddish, it generated a lot of discussion, and the repercussions are. Frank and Wanda are causing quite a stir during the morning program on 1003. Williams won an Emmy for a cameo appearance on Atlanta, so he didn't hesitate to cast Haddish. Cat Williams used the opportunity to harshly criticize Tiffany Hayes' rapid ascent to fame, challenging her comic skills and implying that she doesn't make her own own material and has not yet established herself as a legitimate comedian, he said. You can't tell me your favorite Tiffany Haddish joke because she hasn't done a tour yet, she hasn't done a special, and she hasn't proven that she can tell jokes nonstop for an hour, he said, adding that Haddish has been performing comedy since she was 16. You can't tell me your favorite joke about Tiffany that you detest since she hasn't done a tour, a special, or shown that she can do jokes since she was 16. Cat Williams didn't hold back while voicing his thoughts, and it seems like Tiffany Hades is now feeling the effects of his doubts about her comedic career. Added, they're all set to bring Monique down in and up someone who's shown them girls a trip. Do you think she authored Girls Trip Goofball, or do you think they gave her a screenplay already written? you may believe anything you want. Because of her many deeds, Tiffany Haddish became the focus of attention. Fans of Tiffany Hannes think that her struggles in Hollywood may have caused her to do things that she didn't even know she was doing. Her recent behavior has drawn attention to a notable incident in which she was arrested early on Friday morning on suspicion of driving under the influence, as reported by the Beverly Hills Report. Tiffany Haddish was taken into custody shortly after the incident, which occurred after her performance at the Laugh Factory in West Hollywood the night before for the comedy club's annual Thanksgiving feast. It's interesting to note that she was taken into custody earlier, on the same day she was booked. The Hills Police Department received a call at 5.45 a. m. on Friday morning, when asked about her prayers for a man in uniform that morning by an audience member at the Laugh Factory, Haddish turned the situation into a humorous moment, which the crowd found endearing. Notably, she had used a similar line after her 2022 Georgia DUI incident when she made an appearance on The Tonight Show.